Now, there are lots of non-photographic lenses that you can adapt. I've adapted many of them. And one of my personal favorites is this Meyer Optic Gorlitz 80 millimeter f2.8 Diaplan slide projector lens. It covers a full frame sensor and it's commonly called just the Diaplan lens. It's easy to adapt and it takes great photos. Here's a few images that I've recently take, taken with an adapted Meyer Optic Gorlitz Diaplan lens. Notice how sharp and colorful the images are. Also notice the unique specular highlights. They're what is commonly called soap bubble bouquet because the individual bouquet balls look like a soap bubble. Now, this particular lens is very popular with many photographers. At the end of this episode, I link to a gallery of Diaplan lenses, that, Diaplan images rather, that were taken by other photographers. I think you'll enjoy checking them out. Now let's take a closer look at this Diaplan lens, and I'll show you the methods that I use for adapting it. The Diaplan lens uses one of the oldest lens designs still in use today. It was created in 1893 by Dennis Taylor of New York. It uses the Cook triplet, which consists of three elements. These are the actual three elements that I took out of a uh, Diaplan lens, and the way they're assembled is quite simple. It looks like this. This is the Cook triplet, the optical design that's in every Diaplan lens. The Diaplan lens has a nickname. It's called the Poor Man's Trio Plan. The Diaplan costs only about 75 US dollars, but the trio plan can cost 800, 900 US dollars. Now, the dia plan and the trio plan have the same Cook triplet op optics, but the dia plan uh, uh, has no aperture, no aperture blades, so you shoot it wide open all the time. Now, both lenses are known to have excellent soap bubble bouquet. In fact, they're often referred to as bouquet monsters. Now, I've owned three Meyer Optic Gerlitz Trio Plan lenses, and I actually prefer the Dia Plan over the Trio Plan. Why? Well, because it's cheaper. The Dia Plan lens weighs only 50 grams. Also, the Diaplan lens is the most adaptable lens in the world. Now, unlike the Leica Color Plan lens, this one, which we talked about in the previous episode, you cannot take apart and clean the Diaplan lens. Now, there are many versions of the Diaplan lens. I shoot the 80 millimeter f2.8 version. It's made by Meyer Optics Gerlitz. Also, there's a identical lens called the Pentacon, P-E-N-T-A-C-O-N, Pentacon 80 millimeter f2.8 lens. These two lenses are my favorite versions of the Diaplan. Now, there are actually two varieties of the 80 millimeter f2.8 Diaplan. One has a metal barrel and one has a plastic barrel. Now they've both been discontinued for a long time. I prefer the plastic version because it's more adaptable. The plastic version can be adapted dozens of different ways, while the metal barreled version can only be adapted one way, which I'll show you in a moment here.
Now, there are dozens of ways to adapt Meyer Optics Gurlitz Diaplan lens, and I've tried many of them. And the bottom line is that I have four favorite ways to adapt the Diaplan. Let's take a look at them. The first method is using a focusing bellows. Now, I only use a Diaplan lens on focusing bellows when I want to make extreme close-ups. Extreme close-ups. Now what I do is I take the plastic uh, barreled version of the Diaplan lens and I cut off all of the excess uh, portion at the rear. I cut off the excess portion of the plastic barrel so that it's fairly even with the rear lens element. I use a pipe cutters or a hacksaw to roughly cut off the, the excess plastic barrel. Now, what I do is, first of all, I, I take my, my bellows, which has an M42 uh, front mount and an M42 rear mount. Next, I remove the front mount because the Diaplan lens will not fit into the bellows. It's too large. So you take off the front mount and place the Diaplan lens into the bellows. Next, you attach the appropriate um, uh, adapter to the rear of the lens, to the rear of the bellows, rather. Uh, here's a uh, M42 to Sony adapter. Uh, here's an M42 to Fuji X adapter. Uh, here's a M42 to Canon adapter, an M42 to Nikon adapter, and finally an M42 to Pentax adapter. So you take one of these and you screw it onto the end. And then you have your Diaplan lens all set up on your macro focusing bellows. This will give you, when it's extended all the way, extreme close-ups. Method number two, original equipment manufacturing helicoids. Now, this is the cheapest way of adapting a Diaplan lens. The total cost will only be around 20 US dollars. Also, OEM helicoids are the only way to adapt diaplans with a metal barrel. But also, it will work on diaplan lenses with a plastic barrel. Now, the way it works is you take the OEM helicoid and you get yourself a Nikon K2 ring. Nikon K2 ring. You then get yourself a 52 millimeter reversing ring in whatever mount your camera is in. So the front is 52 millimeters and the rear is the mount that fits on your camera. You then take the reversing ring and on top of it you glue the Nikon K2 ring. And the glue I use is Loctite Super Glue. Once it is set up and becomes firm, then you take these two rings and you glue them to the bottom of the OEM helicoid. I've already done it on these two Diaplan lenses. One I set up for Pentax, it has a Pentax mount, and the other is set up for a Fuji X mount. Now, if you put these on a DSLR camera, it'll focus from about six inches to about 20 feet. If you put them on a mirrorless camera, these will focus from about 20 inches to infinity. So obviously, these will work better on a mirrorless camera. Method number three, 
third-party focusing helicoids. This is by far my favorite way to adapt a Diaplan lens. It provides the smoothest and most accurate focusing and when we're all done, you can check it out for yourself, but I think it's the best looking way to adapt a Diaplan lens. Now, it will only work on a plastic barrel Diaplan lens, and it will only be able to be mounted on a mirrorless camera. So if you can get yourself a plastic Diaplan lens and you have a mirrorless camera, this is probably the method you're going to want to try. Number one, get yourself a plastic barrel diaplan and cut off the excess on the rear of the barrel so that the rear of the barrel is about equal to the plane of the lens. Then buy yourself this focusing helicoid. It has a 52 millimeter front, and on the rear, it has a 42, M42 uh, rear mount. And the range is from 36 millimeters to 90 millimeters. Cost around 30 US dollars. Now, as you can see, the Diaplan lens does not fit into this large opening on the helicoid. So what you need to get is one of two different kinds of rings. The first ring is a 52 millimeter to Pentax K reversing ring. 52 millimeter to PK reversing ring. Or you can get yourself a 52 millimeter to 43 millimeter step down ring. Now, whichever one you choose to use, uh, you screw it onto the front, and if you try to insert your Diaplan lens, you'll find that it doesn't go in all the way because it's just a little bit too tight. So, remove the ring and get yourself sandpaper or maybe a Dremel grinder and grind off a little bit of the inside of that ring. Then slide your Diaplan lens all the way into the ring and screw the ring onto the front of your focusing helicoid, just like that. Then on the rear, get yourself a M42 uh, adapter for your type of camera. In this case, it's an M42 to FX Fuji X adapter. Now, I found that the full-size adapters like this, M42 adapters, are actually far too thick and will position your helicoid too far away from the sensor. So get yourself a M42 slim adapter like this one. It's a a Photosy M42 to FX Slim, S-L-I-M, adapter. And screw that onto the end, just like that. Now, these Slim adapters, these Slim M42 uh, adapters, are also available for Nikon Z cameras, Canon R, Sony E, and this one, which happens to be uh, M42 uh, micro four thirds mount, micro four thirds mount. Then finally, you mount your completed helicoid adapted Diaplan lens onto your mirrorless camera and you can focus and notice how sharp it looks. It's all very secure. The focusing is smooth and you'll find that this Diaplan lens set up with this helicoid adapter will focus from about 10 feet, 10, I'm sorry, 10 inches in front of the lens all the way out to infinity. Some photographers view the Diaplan lens as a specialty lens, a one trick pony. All it's good for is soap bubble bouquet. I disagree with these photographers. 
I've adapted dozens of Diaplan lenses, and I feel it's actually a fairly well-rounded lens. It has good sharpness, good color, good depth, good contrast, and an artistic background blur. So, the Diaplan lens is a cheap, lightweight, and versatile lens. What's not to like about a Diaplan lens? Give it a try.